Sure thing. Brandon, we're going to go to the Tar Heel State right now and check out what things went down in Laurenburg. Scotland County High School taking on North Durham. They had these guys numbered last year, and they had them this year as well. Scotland starting things off earlier. Caden Graves for the touchdown. Two-point conversion, successful there. 8-0 Scots early on. Cheerleaders enjoying that. Scotland scores again with Patrick Primus. Primus? Primus? Primus. Primus. Yeah, he's good. He takes the handoff. He's Primus. And he's he is prime to yep. score again. 16 zip. Scots giving it to the Knights. If this was like Battle of the Roses era, you know what I'm talking about here? Early uh, British history? No? All right, cool. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe so. Yeah. We'll try it later. We'll workshop that. Scotland again had their number tonight. Last night, that is. Primus. That's Primus right there. Nice to 27 follow your zip yeah. at that point. Need I say more? The Scots starting off this season in similar fashion, looking good as they route North Durham here. 50 to 0, your final from Thursday night action. Brandon, getting three nights of football this week, that's aren't right. you? I am. Three nights of high school football. I love it. Wouldn't, wouldn't want it any other way. And I tell you what, uh, it was a running clock in the second half, so that should kind of tell you a little bit about how this one went last night. But Scott's with a big one. They go to your old neck of the woods next week. Take on the Hoggard. Hoggard, yeah. the Vikings and the Scots. Yep. So Got to love those teams. Yep, it'll be a battle next week in Wilmington. Hoggard's tough uh, team. Yep, no, they're always good. Um, so we'll have highlights of that one for you as well. And then, of course, one game on the slate from tonight. It would have been Fairmont and Lumberton and uh, the Golden Tornadoes. Victorious over the Pirates, 16 to 14. Fairmont goes home 